Uh, Justin Tamborelli, name of the company is JDI Logging and Mastication. Uh, we started, uh, we kind of got into the forestry in 2015. I bought my first machine. Uh, we got into the business because I didn't feel there was anybody qualified enough to do work on our own place. So I thought, I'll, why not just get into the business? We were trucking, we were belly dumping at the time, we were always gone. So we just, I just decided to buy a machine and get in business. Uh, our first machine, we, we bought it and we didn't know, I didn't know how I was gonna do it or what I was gonna do, but we just, we bought one machine and then since, since we bought our first machine, we've sold seven machines and bought 10 more. So uh, in order to do what we do, we have to be able to masticate and log and to get the result we're, we're doing right now. This front project, we took, I believe, 7,500 trees off of 65 acres. Uh, we took a lot of just stuff that was left when they cut mine props and and it was all junky and crooked and we tried to leave all the good trees for uh, future generations for regrowth and uh, after we took all the trees we skidded everything and processed it at a landing and then we'll we'll come in and we'll grind the pile the slash piles we'll grind them on we'll haul them to a place and they'll be turned into mulch and then we went through with a masticator and just masticated everything else that was left so it, it recovers faster and it's uh, u more usable faster, I guess. So uh, I believe it was on June 28th, uh, there was a party that was decided to start a campfire in windy conditions and that they were fighting a fire. The, the firefighters were out there fighting a fire. It was only about a half an acre. And they had a dust devil came up, picked the fire up, put it in the crowns. And from there, it carried it about a mile and a half in 45 minutes. It burned about a 930 acres in roughly like an hour and a half. But the fire actually, when it was crowned out, it was, we were watching it and it was headed towards our house. And when the fire got to where we had thinned it the previous three to four years before that, when it got to where the where we had thinned it, it lost all of its fuel. And it basically fell out of the crowns, hit the ground, and just kind of burned itself out. So basically when you when you thin, you the the main objective of thinning is getting rid of all the ladder fuels and uh, reducing the crown spacing. So when you reduce the crown spacings, if you have a fire that tries to get into the crowns, it can't carry it. So by reducing the crown spacings, which is thinning your trees, a crown fire can't, it can't run. It just, right. it has to stay on the ground, which is, is uh, more, it's easier to fight if it's on the ground than it is if it's in the crowns. The other important thing is by reducing your ground cover and getting, putting more uh, grass, you're increasing the wildlife habitat because if there's too much cover, the predators are more prone to kill your young. And the animals, to me, feel safer if there's not as much cover, if it's more open where they can see a predator coming. So by opening the ground up, it's, it's making better habitat for the wildlife and the elk and a deer can thrive better because they don't have the cover for the bobcats and the mountain lions and the bears to kill the young. So you're, you're gonna increase your habitat significantly. So like when we, when we finish a project, we wanna, we wanna leave it looking like in a year you can go back and not even tell we were in there. We want it to look like a park when we're done. And, and a lot of people are like, oh, it doesn't matter if it doesn't look like a park, but to me, it doesn't look not, it doesn't look finished if it's not, if you can't tell in a year that, that we were even in there. We, I just want it to look nice. I the word of mouth, uh, 
bad news travels faster than good news. So if it's if it looks nice and it's presentable, it I'm pleased. So we have all the equipment to start and finish a job uh, to make it to come in and log it, masticate it, and when we leave, everything looks like like it is it hasn't been touched like we haven't been in there if you come back in a year after all the grasses came back in it looks like a park so we can we can do everything from logging to mastication to roads